Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a calculator in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Or you can call them the web languages. So, let's get started. So, it's going to look like this. Like this. And don't worry if you don't know what the operators are like what 10 divided by 4 is because I have a handy app which is my uh, oops did I just do that uh, not camera uh, I have a calculator app which can do all the calculations for us. So, you see, it's fully functional. It's just an app I have on my Chromebook. And if you want to know how to go do download Visual Studio Code on a Chromebook, you have to sign up for it to your, sign into your Chromebook first. Go in code.visualstudiocode.com and then. I'm assuming that you have Linux beta on, so you just do download DB, and in most cases, you can right click on the file, and then you can just say install with Linux beta, and then you'll, you just go into your launcher, and then search a Visual Studio Code, or there's, it's in the Linux apps. So, I'm not going to talk too much about that, but let's get started. And now I'm gonna open my Visual Studio Code. It's pretty crazy that I'm opening it on a Chromebook. And now, just I'll just open a file. I mean folder. I'm just open it anyways, even though I spelled it wrong. You can just go my files, mix files, and then I'm gonna rename the how to make. I'll just keep it like this. Now, just make an index.html uh, style.css and a script.js. And now, let's go in our HTML, link, it, link everything up, and get the boilerplate. So, Get the boilerplate code and then just link everything up. Just push this chair back. Then I just do a link. We can do clone CSS if we didn't then style that CSS. To check if that's a file, you can do control plus click and you can go on that file. And now I'm just gonna go to script colon source. Um, if you don't get that like option, like this option, then you won't like, get all this this code. To get this, you just click on this, and then you'll. It's very useful. And you saw why. 
and scoop that just now. Looking at this, I know we need to do all this code to make all the content. So, first we have to make an H1, call it first, or you can also do each one and then these brackets, and then you can do first number. Now, if you see the Emmet approbation or something, you'll see it'll make an H1 and then the content is first number and then tap. Then input or imp. Don't need type equals text because that's obviously going to come every time. It's always going to be make an input box we don't need a name either so we can just delete that and let's just give it an idea of burr. make sure I put a colon here and now if I do if I open a new tab and then do control o, and then I open my how to make a calculator app index make sure you always press index because that links everything so then it'll automatically use this tabs and now we just get this first number that doesn't look as stylish as this but it's going to just wait oh and i forgot to show you one more feature to this is is that it'll give the answer obviously but I know this is not common in tutorials, but I'll just give these comments. Don't know where it's getting that one. And now, just to make it with the operator and stuff like that, just copy this and paste it about three times. So you instead of first number, you can do operator and then. Give it an idea of again operator. Wow. Who deleted that? And now just give it sec and sec. And second. So now this is exactly how it should look like for the start because we got all this. Don't worry about lining. No, and now let's make that button over here. So, let's do BTN, and then in here, let's just put sub submit and give it an ID of submit. We don't need to access in this. It in the CSS because we can just like that's the only button and pretty much all the inputs will have the same style to this thing. so I didn't don't give them any of the classes because <laughs> no use so now summit as your ID and now Get the submit button and now let's get the H1. Don't worry about making that a span. Just give it an idea of answer. Just put answer in here with three ex with two extra periods. Now finally we're gonna be aligning everything and doing whatever we have to do. So just go in body min height is 100 view heights or 100 view height. and then display flex this is gonna look terrible just to make it even more good let's just do a line eight pins 
And then that flexy flex box trick. Is a line item, a line item center, and justified content center, which make this flexy flex box thing. This looks terrible. So let's just make the flex direction to be column, which will like shorten it up to be only in this column. So then it looks more skinny compared to this. And if I refresh that again, we'll get a centered right where we want it. Now, in the body, you can make a fancy background color. Well, actually, for the background color, you can do any color you want. I just chose black, or you can leave it like this. But, just to be fancier... I'll do a different background color, but you can see what to do. If you like hex, you can do hashtag zeros, uh, three zeros, and just get green and orange and whatever you need. So I'll just make a background of linear gradient if you want to be fancy. Then I'm going to do two, I'll say... I'll do left, top left, no, to top left, and then just put in hashtag, and then put in some random number, and then you'll get a fancy color. If you don't like it to be gray or something like that, just put in anything. That's how I come up of very good colors. Now, I'll just do the same F, F, A, 3. And then we get this fancy, fancy background color. If you just want it to be exactly like this, just make black in here. Not this fancy thing. And you can also make a container and then with background of weight so then it's like this whole thing is a card but I'm not gonna do that this reminds me of pumpkin or something like that I don't remember what that fruit was but let's just continue I'll actually keep the these okay but if you did black like I said you just have to do the H ones to be green so just say h1 and then color green but here I'm just gonna leave it or why not just the color so I'll just do a random color of blah 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 Oh, that's impossible to see. I just make that zero, zero, seven, zero, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, I think this is, yeah, this is good. No, it's not. F, A, uh, F, five, five. What's up, F, A, F, A? I'll just make it F, A. Wait, it's good. And now I'm gonna make it the same like hover effect for this. Hmm. Oh, I'll just edit this color. F A F A F A. And then Input background color is going to be what was it? Oh, F A F that. So then we get this orangey color. Uh, 
it's pretty I'm pretty annoyed by when you when this is active it's only that's the only time where the, the border radius is like five pixels so I'm gonna make the border radius to be five pixels so that means round at the edges so now the edges are rounded you can just remove this outline by doing outline none or just do outline in a fancy color or I don't think that works let's do now to get that hover effect you just do colon hover and now just change the background color to be green What was it? Hashtag O O eight zero. Oh, this is the one. So now when we hover over it, we get this fancy thing. Let's also do that the same thing for the button, except it's not going to be background color. This, this, this. It's it's going to be this, except it's going to be cursor pointer. <laughs> Just not allowed. Just don't do not allowed because it's very, very. You'll see for yourself. Now let's get back into this hover. Uh, and colon hover it's going to be background color to be green or that zero zero eight zero 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 whatever and color to be f f f f f f f f f f f so now when we hover over it it'll give this green color And now, on your script. Yes, this is the part where you'll make an actual calculator that actually works and actually give the commas. So, what I did was document, type in document, the query selector. And I believe that was an I. D of something. Oh. So I D submit and then just do the add event listener. And this takes into parameters. Click or the type and then type in a function like func or something like that or function with no name. It's the same thing for all of them, but I'm just going to do an error function because it's more useful. EX6 error functions. And now, let's do let per equal document dot query selector fur dot value. Copy that, paste that three times. What am I doing? I'm just going to change this to operator so it's not the same thing. And this is just loading to make that grayish color. reason why I put the value is to get the value, not the whole input box. So make sure you put that dot value. And now, what we have to do is make a variable called what and leave it blank. 
now let's just do an if statement. Yeah. So say if is nan, which means is if not a number. And we just want to check first or sec because it could happen to both of them or whichever one. Then we want to do an alert and saying did you type in a number as your first or second number first or second number and then if that's the press ok and then they'll just change that to be a b c d or something like that to one two three four five six or whatever now to make that like the operator work we just have to do a switch statement switch and then put in what we want to switch on so we're gonna do upper a tour and now what we have to do is make four case statements one is plus just put break here we're gonna fill that in later And now just invent them properly because it's very, very hard to make that go on the first try. Or I don't know how to do it. And plus, minus, and divide, and multiplication. Now we have to re like, give a value to that what. So let's just say what is equal to parse flow. This will make anything that's a string. So like one or two, but not hello world because it's pretty hard. So we'll parse, we'll convert that string into a floating point number. So, I want to make that er and then parse full sec because they, if you know, they, they come out as strings. And then we just want to give that to the answer with the commas. So, to do that, we just do document dot query selector ants dot text content which will get that content and then change it to change it equal to what but that will just give this for the value in this for variable plus the sec not the commas so to do that I just did dot to Local string, and then just do en for English, and then if we test that, and then do one thousand, or let's just do one plus one first to get this two, and then we want two. Then I want to see if the two locale string work. And it gives those commas. Where's that one coming from? Hmm. And now I just copy this code.
and paste it in all of here. Say in this case. In this case, and then in this case. And then we just do plus, minus, just match it up with this. So then divide, and then that times. And then we just want to do a default case. So then default, else we want to give an alert saying do plus minus divide or multiplication as your operator and then this should be it for our calculator yes so i'll see you again next time in the next video and now i'll just